I hope you hear the music. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whenever you decide to watch this video. How you doing, family? This is Chef Daniel Knight, a.k.a. Chef D. Knight, with another episode of Funk Up Your Flavor. Now, before I get into the episode, what I would like for you guys to do is go to eventbrite.com and search for Date Night Catering. All right, so when you search for date night catering, we got an event going down January 4th. It's going to be a nine-course dinner extravaganza, so please do not delay. Get your tickets, all right? So today's Funk Up Your Flavor episode is going to feature a potato-crusted red snapper with broccoli. So why did I pick red snapper? Well, I picked red snapper because, one, it's a really meaty fish. It's not too flaky. And number two... A lot of people have difficulty coming up with different things to do with seafood, uh, primarily fish. So I just wanted to give you guys um, something that you could do really easy, really quickly that you could do at home. So please come back, stay tuned, and I will be right back to show you how to put the broccoli together. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and this is another episode of Funk Up Your Flavor with Chef D. Knight. Family, welcome back. First thing I'm going to show you how to put together is the broccoli. So the way I like to do my broccoli is I actually like to um, use a pot or a saucepan, and I put a colander in there, right? So there's about maybe four, two, maybe three cups of water in the bottom that I've already got going at a roaring boil. And then I put my colander in there. So I'm actually gonna use this colander to steam my broccoli. So this is the secret trick right here that I use every time I cook broccoli to keep my broccoli from getting uh, soggy or mushy. Um, so that's kind of like the problem that most people have with broccoli when they're cooking it is that it gets too soggy. So using a colander and a pot of boiling water. So you can, as you can see, the water is boiling, but it's not coming into the colander because I'm going to use all that steam once I top it to actually just simply steam the broccoli. So just check it out. All right. So first thing that we're going to do is I'm gonna take my broccoli right here and I'm gonna cut these uh, spears off and I'm gonna drop them in there. And once I drop them into the colander, I'm gonna season it. And then at the very end, we're gonna add the butter so that'll actually add a little bit more seasoning and creaminess to the dish. So I'll be right back to show you how all that looks. All right, so I've got the broccoli in the colander. And so now I'm just gonna simply add the seasoning. Now my seasoning mix, man listen, please use whatever you like. I am a big fan of salt, pepper, garlic powder, dry parsley, rosemary. I just love flavors and seasonings. So try what works for you, right? All right, so once we got that in there, I know it looks like it's not gonna season everything, but when I pull this out, we're gonna add it to the bowl with the butter and then it'll just kind of coat everything. So we're just gonna put the top on that. Keep my water at the roaring boil on high, and we're just gonna let that go for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes, and this broccoli is gonna come out perfect. Welcome back, family. As you can see, I've got my mandolin set up uh, along with my uh, potato right here. So we're gonna actually use um, a Yukon Gold potato. Now you can use whatever potato that you like. Um, I actually uh, just prefer these just because they're nice, creamy, uh, and they get a nice uh, crispiness on them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice this uh, paper thin. And you want this potato sliced thin enough so you can actually see your hand through it uh, once it's sliced. And I'm gonna come back and show you how to put that together with the red snapper and then we're going to drop it in the skillet and make sure with this dish that you have a nice non-stick skillet. If your skillet is not non-stick, this dish will not work. So I'll be right back to show you how to put this all together. So here's our red snapper filet. So family, listen, for your red snapper, please, whatever you do, do not buy frozen fish. Go to a fish market, talk to your fishmongers about what they have available, what's fresh, how long has it been there, etc. etc. So here's our red snapper fillet. They took a they did a great job of filleting this for me. No bones, no skin, no scales, no nothing. So we have a red snapper fillet. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do with this red snapper fillet is I am going to season it. Now this is a mix of salt pepper uh, a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, and some tarragon seasoning. So I'm gonna take some of this seasoning and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on the red snapper filet, right? So after I do this, 
Now, the reason I chose tarragon, it's a really nice, uh, kind of adds a little bit of a sweetness and some flavor to that. So then I'm going to take some flour, just a few little pinches of flour. Now, why am I putting flour on this? Well, the flour is going to act like glue for my potatoes. So here are my thinly sliced potatoes. Now, as you can see, you can see through this potato. So we're just going to lay these down. You can see, you can literally see my hand through that. So we're gonna lay these down on here and then I'm gonna drop some seasoning on top of those. And then we're gonna put this in the skillet, potato side down. Now, before I finish this, let me show you what I got going in the skillet. So over here in my really nice ceramic coated nonstick skillet, we are on a medium heat and I've got about four tablespoons of olive oil in the skillet. So I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna drop this in, show you guys what that looks like. All right, family, here is the red snapper. Um, I've seasoned the fish, uh, put down a little bit of flour, added the potatoes, and I just did one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way down, right? And then I came back and sprinkled a little seasoning on top of that. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna gently lay this in the pan. Do not drop this in your pan or your skillet, folks. It will splatter and you will get burned. So the only thing we wanna do it's just gently, you can hear the sizzle, just gently lay it in the pan. See that? And as you lay it in, put a little press on it. Don't be afraid to put your hand um, on your food, right? So the reason I'm pressing on this is number one, to get the crusting on the potatoes that I want and also to help the potatoes adhere to the red snapper. So what I'm also gonna do is on this side of the red snapper, while it's cooking potato side down, you can actually begin to see that the fish is starting to turn white around the edges. That is a good thing. That means that the fish is starting to cook. So this is gonna take about, mm, I'd say about maybe seven to eight minutes, um, maybe nine, just depending upon your skillet, um, the uh, type of oil that you're using, um, and how crispy you actually want these potatoes to turn out. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna take some of my seasoning mix and I'm gonna sprinkle it on this side. Folks, as often as you can, sprinkle your seasonings. And the reason you wanna sprinkle your seasonings is because you have a much better idea of how much you're actually putting on there. When you shake it in there, you might get a clump or two. You have no idea how much seasoning you're actually putting on there. So I highly recommend that you sprinkle or pre-measure all of your seasonings prior to cooking. All right, so I'll be back to show you what this looks like once we flip it. And then we're gonna plate this. And on top of this, I'm gonna do a butter dill uh, lemon sauce. I'm gonna put that together while this is cooking and show you what that looks like. All right, family, I told you we're gonna have a butter lemon dill sauce. So what I have in a saucepan is I've got about two tablespoons of butter. I've got some fresh dill that I just chopped up. So I'm gonna take this fresh dill. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that in right on top of the butter. All right, I've got a lemon that I've sliced, right? Got my lemon juicer or lemon squeezer, whatever you wanna call this thing. I call it a, a lemon juicer. So we're gonna just juice one lemon right into the saucepan. The juice of one lemon. And you wanna put this on like a, a medium, to like a medium low heat. Uh, just to kind of let it melt and just get like to know each other. You want the, the lemon to say hello to the butter, the butter to say hello to the dill. Uh, you kind of want the dill to be like the highlight of the dish. So this isn't going to go too long. Uh, we really want that dill to be like a really fresh, vibrant flavor when we put this together. All right, so there's the juice from one lemon in that. Uh, just kind of get the pot little swish around and let that continue to melt. All right, so as you can see, the fish is browning up really nicely. You see those potatoes are starting to brown and get crispy and I just brought my skillet in. All right, I'm sorry, my spatula in. So we actually are gonna flip this and once I flip it, I'm gonna come back and show you exactly what that looks like. 
just flip the red snapper and as you can see our potatoes are nice golden brown and they have uh, really adhered to the fish oh, I wish you guys were here to actually smell this and touch this this is really really crispy all right so we're gonna let this finish off it's gonna take about maybe another three minutes to finish cooking on the other side you know fish doesn't take long to cook and so once that's done cooking i'm gonna plate everything and show you how to just really 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 enjoy a potato crusted red snapper with fresh broccoli so family i've taken the uh broccoli um out of my colander and placed it into a metal bowl along with the butter all you need to do is just toss this together until your butter is melted and then once your butter is completely melted you are good to go and you can plate that and go ahead and start eating so i'm going to go ahead and plate the broccoli plate the red snapper i'm going to drizzle a little bit of the uh lemon dill uh butter sauce on top of the uh red snapper and then i'm going to come back and enjoy all right family Here's a moment of truth. It looks really good. Potato crusty, red snapper with the steamed broccoli. About to enjoy it. I know it's gonna be good. Oh, did you hear that crunch of that potato? Oh, look at how flaky that fish is. You can even see on the other side, the crusting on the fish. Uh, got a nice, oh man, this is gonna be delicious. I can already like taste it. Mmm. All right, listen. You gotta make this dish. It gives it such a nice, like, the potatoes are crispy. The potato flavor with the freshness of the red snapper, with the seasoning, oh man. Really funked up the flavor. Let's try this broccoli next and see what that's working with. Mmm, mmm. Broccoli still has a nice crunch to it. Oh, man. So, listen. Guys, go to the comment section below. Ask me any question that you want. Like the video. Share the video. Subscribe to Funk Up the Flavor by Chef D. Knight. And once again, please do not forget to go to eventbrite.com. Search for Date Night Catering. And come out and enjoy a nine-course dinner extravaganza. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So thank you so much for supporting and watching the video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And remember, if you do not believe in yourself, then who else should? So I love your family. Have a great day.